John Otis Adams was an American Impressionist painter and art educator. He was a member of the Hoosier group of Indiana landscape painters, along with William Forsyth, Richard B. Gruel, Otto Stark, and T. C. Steele. Adams was also a founding member and president of the Society of Western Artists. Adams received his formal art training at the South Kensington School of Art in London and later attended the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, Germany. He played a key role in establishing the Muncie Art School and taught at the John Heron Art Institute in Indianapolis. Adams also provided informal art lessons at his home and studio, The Hermitage, near Brookville, Indiana. Adams's artwork gained recognition through major exhibitions such as the Louisiana Purchase Exposition and the Panama Pacific International Exposition. He received awards and honors for his paintings, including a bronze medal at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition and the Fine Arts Building Prize at the Society of Western Artists Exhibition in Chicago. His paintings can be found in private collections and museums, including the Hahn Mansion Museum of Indiana Art. John Otis Adams Early Life and Education John Otis Adams was born on July 8, 1851, in Amity, Johnson County, Indiana. Growing up in various towns in Indiana, including Franklin, Shelbyville, and Martinsville, Adams showed artistic talent from a young age. His parents, Elizabeth Strange and Alban Housley Adams, encouraged his creativity. Adams attended elementary school in Franklin and Shelbyville and graduated from Martinsville High School. It was at Martinsville that one of his teachers recognized his artistic ability and urged him to pursue art further. Inspired by William Merritt Chase's painting, Still Life with Watermelon, Adams decided to become an artist. Despite financial limitations, he enrolled at Wabash College in Crawfordsville, Indiana, where he took art classes. Early career and influences After completing his studies at Wabash College, Adams moved to Indianapolis in 1871 to further his art education. There, he studied at the newly established Indiana School of Art with the renowned artist Barton S. Hayes. Adams also took classes at the Art Students League in New York City, where he was exposed to various art styles and techniques. He was particularly influenced by the Barbizon School and the work of Corot and Daubigny. Adams' early works often depicted landscapes and rural scenes, showcasing his love for the beauty of nature. The Hoosier Group and later years in 1884, Adams and several other Indiana artists formed the Hoosier Group, a collective of landscape painters dedicated to capturing the beauty of their home state. Adams became a leading figure of the group, and their work gained recognition and acclaim. He continued to paint landscapes, focusing on the changing seasons and the effects of light on the natural world. Adams' style evolved over time, incorporating elements of Impressionism and tonalism. Throughout his career, Adams actively exhibited his work, participating in numerous exhibitions and receiving awards and accolades. He also taught art at the John Heron Art Institute in Indianapolis, where he inspired and mentored many aspiring artists. Adams' contributions to the art community in Indiana and his dedication to capturing the essence of the state's landscapes have left a lasting impact on American art. In conclusion, John Otis Adams, an American Impressionist painter and art educator, played a significant role in the art community, particularly in Indiana. His participation in the Hoosier Group, along with other talented artists, showcased his dedication to capturing the beauty of his home state. Adams' early influences, such as the Barbizon School, shaped his style, which evolved over time to incorporate elements of Impressionism and tonalism. Throughout his career, Adams actively exhibited his work and received recognition for his paintings. Additionally, his passion for teaching at institutes like the John Heron Art Institute inspired and mentored aspiring artists. Adams' commitment to capturing the essence of Indiana's landscapes has left a lasting impact on American art.